Hello, friends, and welcome to the Conscious Coping Club. I'm Lori Sharp Page, and I'm bringing my expertise as a psychotherapist, my baggage as a human, and my hunch that learning how to cope is going to be a lot more fun when we do it together. This week on the Conscious Coping Club, we're talking about the feeling of anger, all that and more on this week's episode of the Conscious Coping Club. The feeling of the week is a force we've all reckoned with. It's anger. Before we jump in, I need to be honest with you. I am very, 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 very angry right now. At this very moment, I am drenched in this feeling. I'm not just slightly upset or a little bit peeved. No, I'm royally riled. And I'm not proud to tell you this, but I just found myself obsessing over a stupid revenge fantasy. It's dumb. It just involves me ordering a glitter bomb to add a little bit of chaos to my foils day. But as captivating as that sounds, I've already decided I'm not going to do that. Why? Well, for a lot of reasons, but mainly because while revenge and fantasizing about revenge can feel good in the short term, ultimately these approaches are short-lived and at best ineffective coping always. See, revenge fantasies can imprison us. We hover in anticipation, yearning for that golden moment to see that we can inflict the same pain we felt from someone else's hand onto theirs. And honestly, I've just never found it to have as good of a payoff as I think it will. I want to say here that my revenge fantasies have never been violent. But if you are having any violent fantasies that involve hurt to others or yourself, this is a great time to tag in a mental health professional or reach out to crisis support. You can find links to crisis resources on our channel page. Usually when people have these thoughts, that's all they are is thoughts. And the best way to assess that and make sure that they stay that way is to get professional support. Your thoughts aren't anything to be scared of. And if they make you feel unsafe, please know you aren't alone and that there is help out there for you. All you need to do is reach out. Occasionally, when you are as angry as I am right now, it feels almost righteous, as if standing up against a perceived violation of our personal values or human rights is the only possible thing that you can do right now. Anger can feel involuntary, something unfairly delivered to us through the inconsiderate or callous actions of others. It can be easy to blame others for our anger. But when we do so, we miss the point because anger is truly a signpost pointing inwards. It reveals our boundaries, our vulnerabilities, and our deeply held values. And when we're quick to project our anger onto others or blame others for it, we overlook its instructive nature, glossing over internal disharmonies or past actions that might have paved the way for our present discontent. Either way, we miss out when we don't pay attention to that information. So while I'm still grappling with my recent experience, uh, current experience of anger, I recognize my anger's inherent lesson. Rather than resorting to ineffective coping mechanisms like shame or obsession or revenge, I choose to embrace the learnings and address the underlying triggers. Ultimately, I am going to use this to find more productive ways to release this anger and refocus it. Feeling anger is intrinsically human, and it is a powerful emotion. But it's not the emotion that matters. It's our response to it that truly defines us. Radically accepting that anger will be part of your life so that you may navigate it, learn from it, and let it guide you to your personal growth, well, that's what conscious coping is. And so I hope you will join me in taking whatever anger you're feeling and allowing yourself to transform it into something better, something more meaningful, something more helpful than just fantasizing about revenge. That's all for this week's episode of the Conscious Coping Club. Thank you for joining me on this journey to conscious coping. Make sure to like and follow for more great coping content and join us at ConsciousCoping.club where we navigate the labyrinth of life together with curiosity, compassion, and community. And remember, until next time, don't just cope, consciously cope.